Hey there, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and today I'm gonna to spare you from looking at my face because I'm not feeling all that well, and I look like death. But anyway, the point of this video is to show you something that's super cool. So when you're working in Oxygen, specifically around WooCommerce, you probably notice that there are no built-in conditions for WooCommerce. So if you come in here and you start looking for things like product or anything to do with product tags and that sort of thing, unfortunately, there's nothing built into Oxygen but I did happen to come across a free solution to fix this for you, which is pretty cool. So if we quickly switch over here to the plugins on our site, if you look for the WP Lit Woo conditions for Oxygen, which is kind of a mouthful, then this gives you a bunch of WooCommerce conditions. I'm sure many of you guys are gonna be thrown off by this warning that says it's not been tested, but it doesn't actually matter because it's not modifying anything to do with WordPress. It's all Oxygen related. And not only that, this is built by David Brown, who has his hand in a number of fantastic Oxygen resources. Namely, he's a part of the Oxy plugins for Oxy Toolbox and then uh, also Oxy Extras as well. So definitely a totally solid addition and there's really nothing to worry about with it being air quotes outdated because all this is doing is just adding conditions to Oxygen via the built-in Oxygen API. So go ahead and look for this plugin and activate it on your site. And we're gonna take a look at a few of the conditions that are built right in. So first of all, let's just take a quick peek at what the conditions are available to us, you know, right out of the box. So if we go here and look at the conditions, if we scroll down here, you'll see that there's quite a few available to us that weren't there before now that we have that plugin activated. So product type is pretty self-explanatory. This has all of the standard WooCommerce product types, but we can just take a look through a few of these. So product in category, it's gonna pop in all of the categories that you have on your site. You have a couple of really neat options here like product on sale is equal to or not equal to, true or false. So you have a lot of flexibility there in how you show and hide different elements. A couple more in here. So product is downloadable, has image, stock. Woo user is actually how I discovered this because I had a case where I wanted to show and hide the WooCommerce mini cart, whether or not it was empty. So this is actually what I actually wanted when I started digging for this particular condition. So I said woo user has empty cart equals false because I only wanted the cart to show up when there was something in it. So that was the main condition here that I was actually after. But if we take a look at some of these other ones, what's really cool about this is I didn't change the settings here in my WooCommerce installation in terms of my metrics for like the weight and then the currency type but I did experiment with it. And if you change them to like US dollars and pounds instead of kilograms, then it does actually switch over in these conditions for you automatically, which is pretty cool. So is at endpoint is another neat one. These are all of the standard built-in pages here. So you can do some really cool things like adding in extra information at different steps of their checkout process, which is neat. But you can see it does add a lot of great flexibility right out of the box. So one of the most common examples that you're probably gonna to wanna to do with something like this is have one of those banners that says, you know, get free shipping if your order is $50 or more. So we can actually do that with those built-in conditions. So let's just go ahead and add in a div here. We're gonna stick that on top of our product list. Let's set this to a slightly off white background color. And then we're gonna set the width here to 100%. A heading and let's go like H3. And then we'll just write free shipping with orders over $50. So now what we're gonna do is go over here to set condition, add, scroll all the way down, and then of course, like I already mentioned, this site is set to GBP, which I'm not really terribly concerned about, but what we're gonna do is basically set this to be less than 50, and then we're going to duplicate this heading, and let's change it to something like, you have qualified for free shipping. So now I'm gonna set this condition to be greater than or equal to 50. So then let's go ahead and take a look on the front end and see how those headings change. So right now my cart total is not over 50, so you can see there's that heading right here. So let's go ahead and add a couple of things. Let's pop in this belt, because that one's 55 pounds. So then if I refresh, you can see now the appropriate heading shows. So it says you have qualified for free shipping. So because of the way that you do have to refresh there, it might not make sense for you to do this right at the top of your shop archive page but you could do it on like, you know, your checkout cart pages or whatever you want. You could have the banner up at the top that says, you know, get free shipping for orders $50 and above and that sort of thing. So just to demonstrate how you can utilize those conditions, which is pretty cool. So in terms of demonstrating more of those conditions, really this is going to be totally up to you, but I just wanted you to be aware of the fact that this does exist and because it's totally free, it's pretty awesome. 
However, I do want to mention that, like I said earlier, the Oxy plugins offering for Oxy Toolbox has a number of other conditions available to it. So this is what the Oxy Toolbox looks like right now with its WooCommerce conditions. So you can see there's a lot of them that are fairly similar, but there's also quite a few that are not included in the free version, such as back orders allowed, and then all of these down here, that WooCommerce section, those aren't in the free one. So if you do need more comprehensive WooCommerce conditions, just consider the Oxy plugins toolbox. And that would of course be directly supporting David Brown. Cause like I said, he is a part of this particular offering and he's the one that came up with that free WooCommerce plugin. So in any case, I hope this has been helpful for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.